Okay, and what we need to do now, what I'm going to do now is uh, first I'm going to set up my audio the way um, I need it, my mixing board. Okay, um, this portion right here is called the multi dock. Um, over here you have your um, track inspector, and on the right, out here is usually your browser. You don't see the browser yet. Um, that's because I haven't pulled it up yet, and there's no mixer right now. Right now we're just set up and setting up our tracks in the track view. Click this little panel here. This is where all your uh, bus panes go. Um, if you don't know what buses are, um, you have to read about it because I don't really know how to explain them except for the fact that um, if you want to mix, if you want to master and mix well, it's always good to send your multiple tracks to separate bus tracks. That way you can group them, you kind of group them together um so and it helps with mixing and pre-mixing that's all I'm going to say right there learn all right first thing I'm going to do is uh, I need to insert a bus track so and I'm going to insert a few of them um so insert stereo bus so you just click in this little plane pane you right click it'll say insert stereo bus and you click yes right and then after that um also you can click the insert button on your keyboard and it'll if you just click that it'll put more in there for you too all right for me i want one as a, i want one as a master i want one for music and i'll tell you why in a, and i'll tell you why you want one for music and not just a regular music track over here you want this going to a music um bus as well because um when you're mixing your pre-mixing your buses, it's easier. It's easy for you to either mix buses or pull adjust levels in the bus, or if you're in the tracks, you can adjust levels in the tracks. So you can kind of go back and forth um, when you're mixing your track. It's just easier that way. You don't have to. Especially helps when your tracks, when your music tracks are separated, to turn the music up or turn the music down. Um, in this case, it's not necessary, but I still do it anyway. So this one is going to be, I'm going to click in there, I'm going to click enter, and it's going to highlight bus A, and I'm going to call it the master. So um, this is my master bus. The master is going to is going to be the only bus that goes directly to my sound card. Um, and if I press the down arrow to go to the next track, and I press enter, make this music, click enter, and then I'm going to go over here to um, as you see in your track inspector the out I'm gonna change the out to master there okay go back over here and I'm gonna change this to leads to lead vocals and go to the track inspector and change it to master then I'll do one more I'm gonna click insert it's gonna insert a track for me hit enter and I'm gonna call this backings. So, in some cases I might have more than one backing bus. I might have a set of vocals going into to one bus and another one to another because I want maybe a different sound or a different EQ or whatever. Um, that's definitely more advanced stuff, but something that we can do. In this case, right now, one is fine. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna send it to the master. So now, as you toggle to the different bus tracks, you'll see that each one of those is going to the master, and the master goes to your main hardware. All right, so we're over here, and we're moving on. So we have our music, and this we're gonna click that, and you see that the out is going to our to the um, audio interface. We want it to go to music, and then we'll click, we we'll press play. You see now that it's going to the uh, main bus here. Music. Let's go over here. Now we're going to find the time. What's cool about finding the time or the BPM of which um, of the track is when you're cutting and pasting vocals. Um, if it's already set up to a certain time, it's easy to just paste and paste them without having to try to find the exact fit or exact time or slide slide the vocals over if you get the um, 
BPM, you can do it automatically. You know what I mean? And you, it's easier that way. So just do it. <laughs> so clicking in, uh, clicking in this ruler here, we're going to press play and um, we're just going to test out the time. So in order to do that, you can click, you can tap the tempo and go up to projects. Click project, click tempo change. And my assumption is that it's probably around 70, 60, 70 or whatever. So I'm just going to put a time in here. But, but you can also go right here and you can tap the tempo. So I'm tapping right now and it's changing. Bam! Right? And you can click OK. But you can't really do that while the music's not playing. So now we're going to do it while the music's playing and you're going to watch me do it. Cool. Alright, so we got the tempo. We're going to go to project. Insert tempo change, and we're going to tap our tempo. One, two, three, ten, tap, tap. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So it looks to be about 82. The way to tell that is usually, for the most part, Intro songs, especially when they're done on track, when they're done on computers or, or NPCs or whatever people make their beats on, they're usually there's usually either a four bar or an eight bar intro, and it's usually right on time. So if you look right here, this looks to be like the downbeat, and it should be right on the nine, but it's not quite on the nine. So um, we'll we'll um, give it a listen. Two, three, four, two. Two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, ra. So you know it's it's my uh my tempo's too fast. So we're going to change it to 81, and this little meter here should move when we change the tempo. And it just went back a little bit, and I still think that's not enough. Let's change it to 80, click in there. And with your grid right here, or your, your time snap on whole notes, you can click on the 9, and if you click, if you press play, it should start right on the downbeat. Which is close enough, you know, which is should be fine. So now the way to check that, make sure you're good, is to go to another, say go to bar 25 and press play. And it's the same thing. So now you know that you have the right time signature 